Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brooke and we are kicking off another video. Today is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving and I just finished work. Uh, thankfully, my company allowed us to finish work at 11 o'clock today and kick off the Thanksgiving week early or weekend early. So here we are, just finished and I'm getting ready to head out. We are driving to Paso Robles today. We have been spending quite a bit of time there this year. So we're heading back there and we're going to be spending um, today through Sunday. We're going to be doing Thanksgiving out there. We're just going to go to a restaurant for Thanksgiving. We're not doing all the cooking and everything. Uh, this year we are spending it with Darren's family and then my parents are hosting Thanksgiving here for our family. Um, I will be spending, we will be spending Christmas with my family this year. We switch off the holidays. Um, one family has Thanksgiving, one family has Christmas Eve and Christmas, and then the next year it swaps. We used to try to do everything with both families and it was just too much and this has been working for us so far. So I'm uh, very excited to be spending it with Darren's family. It's going to be a blast. We have majority of his siblings coming. Um, now that everyone is married, it does get a little tougher coordinating. So whenever we get majority of the family together, that's something to celebrate alone because it takes a lot. So anyway, just wanted to pop in, kick off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my previous vlog. That is the longest one I have done in a very long time. Please let me know if you guys like those really long style vlogs or if you like the shorter ones. That way I can give you more of what you like. So anyway, you haven't uh, already, don't forget, subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, so my parents just picked up these beautiful arrangements from a local florist. So these are going to be the centerpieces for their Thanksgiving and they turned out absolutely beautiful. So my mom really wanted me to share them with you guys because she is so excited about them. What's special about it are the containers are actual baking dishes. So after the flowers have um, provided their use, then you clean out the baking dish and they're just gorgeous. They're red baking dishes with a cute cardinal on it. Really? All right, let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, I better tell you that. So don't throw those away. <laughs> All right, we're in the car. We are on our way, finally. I ended up having to work a little bit more. I technically was done. However, um, some last minute little things came up and I didn't want my customers to have to wait until next week to get an answer. So, um, got that done. But we are on our way to Paso Robles. We've got all of our stuff in the back. It's kind of dark back there so you can't really see it. I am so excited. We. I decided to go to the Carl's Jr. drive-thru and we're gonna get Crisket fries and jalapeno poppers. I haven't had Chris Cut fries in literally years. Moment of truth, moment of truth. The goods have been secured. Woo, okay, these took a while to come out, which tells me that they are fresh and hot, so we're gonna wait a second. So we plowed through the um, the Chris Cut fries. They were so good, and we shared them. And then now we've moved on to the jalapeno poppers, and these are also really good, but they were super hot. We shared one, and both like burnt our mouth. So we're waiting a couple minutes for those to cool down. Um, they well, first off, they're bomb, but they're like. Um, almost like cheese and like chopped up jalapenos deep fried so it's not quite like a half of a jalapeno you know filled with cheese it's just like chopped up jalapeno which is kind of nice because when you have the actual jalapeno sometimes when you bite like the breading and the cheese come out and then you have just the jalapeno that it's it gets kind of messy so i like the way they did it we made a pit stop okay so i just went to the crumble cookie in Paso Robles and for starters um, yeah the quality is definitely different here <laughs> just things are I, I don't know these are supposed to be brilliant orange they are literally beige and they don't look right but hopefully they taste okay okay we just got here oh my gosh look it's like on a vineyard all the well they were well I mean they are grapevines so we just got here 
And look how cute this house is. So it has this beautiful kitchen. They have a pool outside that's heated. We have this living room here with this gorgeous fireplace. And they've got a bunch of bedrooms up here and a dining room over here. So we just got back from the grocery store. We bought enough food for like the next three days. So we're gonna be making breakfast here each morning and then um, going out um, for the day, probably eating out. And then we have all kinds of snacks and stuff for when we come back to enjoy. So right now we are going to make garlic bread. We just put in the oven two cheese lasagnas and then we have two salad kits. So right now there are eight of us, oh no, six of us adults and then two kids. So um, I think that'll be enough for us, but you guys. Okay, so we're here to like wine taste and do all that stuff, right? Can we just note how much, how much wine we have already purchased just in case. We've already gotten started on the crumble cookies. We actually, we've done a number on them. And then let me show you what we got. So we have already filled the fridge, <laughs> but we are gonna be here for like five days. So tomorrow we're doing breakfast burritos. Look at this. We found tortillas that are like the size of Chipotle at Smart and Final. And then um, we have some like sauces and stuff to go with that. We have a bunch of eggs for the breakfast burritos tomorrow. And then we have English muffins for breakfast sandwiches. The next day we have some like fruit, um, some other drinks, we have sour cream. And then um, down here we have charcuterie supplies. So we're gonna be making some charcuterie boards and that's gonna be bomb. And then we have some like peppers for that and then sour cream for the breakfast stuff, bacon for the breakfast stuff. And then we have tater tots for both or for all the breakfasts and then some things for the kids. And then we have um, some breakfast sausage for the sandwiches. So we are ready to go. And then over here in the pantry, let me, nope. Okay, maybe this one, there we go. Then in the pantry, we got some popcorn, different chips to go with the salsas. And then we also got some cheese. Que Bueno is always our favorite. And then a few crackers to go with the charcuterie. And then they do have a bunch of just like staples and essentials and stuff that other people have left, but that's all that we bought. So now the boys are playing some games and um, uh, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law are upstairs putting the little ones to bed. Oh no, they're not because we haven't had dinner. I don't know what they're doing. They went somewhere. <laughs> but anywho, I wanted to check in with you guys and I will see you in a bit. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. So I showered, did my makeup, and now I am helping with breakfast. We have tater tots in the oven, and we have a sheet of um, bacon in the oven, and right now I'm going to scramble the eggs as everyone finishes getting ready. Um, it is like 7.20 right now. At 8.45, we are leaving to go on like a nature walk slash light, light hike. We're gonna go see the elephant seals, I think they're called. And then um, we're gonna go to the beach for a little bit and then we're doing like a early Thanksgiving dinner slash like late lunch. And then we're gonna come hang out here for the day. So we're doing a very untraditional Thanksgiving, but it's gonna be so much fun. We have everyone here, well, almost everyone here. Um, one of Darren's other siblings and his wife are going to be joining us this evening. They couldn't get off work yesterday. Um, it's quite a long drive, so they're driving here today. So I believe they're on the road right now and it's like a four hour drive for them. So yeah, they'll be here in a bit. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving and let's get back to making our breakfast burritos.
Okay, we just got to the beach and I believe we're in San Luis Obispo right now. We're going for a Thanksgiving hike. So apparently here they have elephant seals. So this is Elephant Seal Beach. So I'm not sure exactly where we're going, but we're meeting up with some kind of tour guide that's gonna take us so we can see them. And then we're gonna be driving to a few different locations and seeing some other things like a grotto and some other stuff. Yeah, I don't quite remember everything, but I'll show you guys. These are tiny though. The bigger ones are 5,000. Like he's flicking uh, sand on them. Look at some of that, like those right over there. Those ones look big. Okay, so we're looking at all of the elephant seals on the beach, but none of them have like that big elephant seal nose. So I Googled it and it looks like the females just look like regular seals and only the males have like the big elephant nose. So I guess these are just a bunch of females, I guess. But I guess these are also the babies and the babies, after the mom feeds them, the babies don't eat for, I think it was, Oh, three months I think it was and then after three months they go into the water and they go try to find food and figure out life but yeah there are quite a few little ones there are only a couple of the big ones here but like I said I don't think any of them are male so here they are again see these are all itty bitty down here there were a couple that look pretty big apparently the males grow up to 5,000 pounds and the females 2,000 so these guys look like they're just a couple hundred pounds Okay, we found some bigger ones, but it's just like a seal dog pile. <laughs> okay, so I did notice that their noses are starting to get bigger here. So these ones are older. Are you gonna find oh, 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 honey buns. I do not have anything for you. I do apologize. Hi, let's go. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny days, sunny days, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, a way feels like it's been a freaking day. You guys, we are hiking, we keep losing the group because the gals keep stopping to take pictures. But it's so pretty. There's like pompous grass everywhere. Okay, we're catching up. It's beautiful. Yeah, this, this I can handle. I'm busy trying to take it higher. Got no time for never. Only spending cheddar. Wish I could do this forever. Chilling with the hottest company. They all want to welcome me to their private penthouse suite. I'm so out of shape. Okay guys, so we are now on our way back. This has been the most aggressive <laughs> Thanksgiving of my life. Um, we did get some pretty cool family pictures though next to these gigantic redwoods. And we went to some place where there used to be a homestead cabin. It was really beautiful. Um, so I'm really glad that we that we did this. Um, I think we're all pretty, <laughs> pretty tired. Um, this has been, um, I think at the end it will have been a five mile hike total that we've done today. So we've gone to three different places. So the hike was kind of broken up, but three of the five miles will have been at this place. But the good news is now that we're going back and most of it should be downhill.
Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning and it's about eight o'clock. So Darren is still sleeping in the other room, that like door closed uh, 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 right there. Uh, he's in there sleeping. Everyone else is ready downstairs. Um, I cannot find a blow dryer here, so we're just we're just gonna have to let this air dry. Um, I have uh, yesterday I cooked breakfast, as you guys saw. The breakfast burritos were great, and then we went on the hike. Um, we pretty much like ate half the burrito here and they were huge so we took the other half to go and we ate it on our hour drive there um, but yesterday was absolutely amazing it was beautiful after dinner we came back um, the boys watched football and played some games and then we went to bed um, so today um, we had a few different options but I believe at one o'clock we're going to go kayaking um, in Morro Bay I guess they have a bunch of like sea otters and stuff that you can go see like when you kayak. So I believe that is the plan. So right now I'm going to go downstairs and today's breakfast menu is um, breakfast sandwiches. So um, I'm going to make all of the eggs and then we have breakfast sausage, cheese, and then English muffins. So that's the plan. So I'm going to go get started. <laughs> Okay, so I just put a dozen eggs in here. So we are going to bake these bad boys at 350 for 14 minutes. Tater tots are done. Eggs are in the oven. And the Hatties are work in progress. I'm about to put in the English muffins to get these a, give these a bit of a broil. And then we're gonna brush them with butter and then add on people's choice of cheese. Look how perfect these all turned out. Okay, I kind of need a second hand here to, oh, there we go. But all of these, perfect. So all I did was put a little oil in the pan and then I went through with a paper towel to kind of rub around the oil. And also to, um, yes, yeah, so we didn't have excess oil and to make sure that it was all around. And then we put the eggs. They cooked at 350 for 14 minutes. And I did sprinkle them with a little bit of salt so that they're nice and flavorful. But I mean, these are literally the most perfect eggs, nothing in the pan, no sticking. I mean, this is this is beautiful. I'm so proud of this. <laughs> and then the sausages are almost all done. We have a couple, we've got a couple more right here cooking, but as you guys saw, the eggs are done, the tater tots are done. And then over here, we have already done the first broil and buttering of the muffins. And then we have started with layering on the cheese. So we're kind of waiting until the, um, those sausages over there are completely done so that the cheese is nice and melty. So we just have to put them on all of these. So we're putting them on the bottoms, I think, um, just so that it's easier to stack. But I'm really, I'm really excited about this. This is turning out great. And we're just using this little um, party pack, this party pack um, of like assorted cheeses that we got from Smart and Final. Voila, look how good these are looking. And then we're just gonna put the tops on and then serve them with tater tots. We've been exploring the yard. They have like a ping pong table behind me. They have a pool, all of these um, beautiful tables and chairs and fire pit and garden and everything like overlooks the front yard and the whole front yard's like vineyards. Um, I did go out there this morning with my camera and got some like pretty pictures of the vines. We are getting ready to head out to go kayaking. We're gonna go kayaking in Morro Bay and I'm really excited. So we're gonna take off and I'll see you there.
So we just finished setting up for dinner. We have baked potatoes. We have biscuits, salad, wine, and then we have all the fixings for stuffed potatoes and mushrooms put on top of our steak, which is finishing up being cut right now. But overall, this is quite the feast. Ooh, that looks amazing. Oh, yes. And the appetizing swirl. <laughs> Oh, she's a model. She's a steak model. Oh, yes. We are back at Allegretto. This is the winery that we did wine tasting at, as well as we um, staying here. So here's the cello. That's where we had dinner when we were here. And then down here to the right are all the hotel rooms. So that's where we stayed. Look how beautiful everything is decorated for Christmas. It's 10 a.m. this morning. We made breakfast burritos again and then rushed out the door. So we just got to Allegretto. So this is one of the wineries in Paso Robles. This is where we um, had stayed last time we were here in, I believe that was end of May or early June. So they have beautiful hotel rooms and they also have um, wine tasting on site and um, a winery tour. So we did all of that last time. That's where um, we saw the goats and everything and we're really happy to be back. So this is the first time that the rest of the family has been here. So we're gonna show them the ropes, do wine tasting and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so you guys remember last time we were here? They only had one alpaca and because the second one had passed away just a few weeks previous. Look, that one back there is the OG one. And then we have this one. And then we also have a white one. So now he's not alone. And that makes me so happy. Darren's over here trying to see how far he can push before he gets spit on. <laughs> We just got home, or at least the girls did. We separated. The guys wanted to keep going. So we have some nacho cheese here and we have shops set up outside. So we have a whole area set up outside by the pool. So we're hanging out there and I'm debating. I think I'm done with wine, but my brother-in-law and sister-in-law stopped at the store and they picked up a case of Modelo. So I think that I might get a little wild and mix it up with a little beer right time to stir the cheese. Hey guys, happy Monday morning. So I just finished getting ready for work. So I am going to head out. Yesterday, I know I did not vlog. Um, basically, we got up, showered, made breakfast. We had to clean up the house. We rented the house from Airbnb. So um, you guys probably know the drill. You have like a whole to-do list of all the things that you have to do before you leave. So we were doing all of that and then heading home. So <laughs> we had a couple hour drive home. Um, we hung out here. Um, we are at um, Darren's parents' house. We boarded our dogs in this city. Um, so we spent the night here. That way this morning we could go pick up the dogs before we head home. So um, we hung out here. We ordered some Thai food. They went in the hot tub. Um, I was a little hungover. I didn't really drink any most of the trip. And then Saturday I was like, it's last night. Let's do it. And um, I just don't really have the tolerance. <laughs> so I wasn't feeling too hot yesterday. So uh, I did not go in the hot tub. But what I did do was I decided to clear their pantry. So I went through everything, threw away everything that was out of date. I reorganized everything. They have a really big pantry. And um, 
one of my hobbies is organization. <laughs> so um, I had the best afternoon just organizing all of it and I, I feel really good about it. So I had a great day yesterday. And then, um, yeah, before I get started with work, um, me and my mother-in-law are gonna go on a nice little coffee walk. Um, and yeah, and then we're gonna head home in just a little bit. So I wanted to pop in and catch you guys up and also sign off this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had an incredible Thanksgiving. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tune in next week for another new video. And yeah, I'll see you then. Bye guys.